So in today's video, we are going to be talking about the substitution property versus the transitive property. These two properties are often confused, and that's because, well, in all honesty, they are pretty similar. But let's look at some definitions. So the substitution property states that if two expressions are equal, then any occurrence of one can be replaced by the other without changing the value of the expression. This property is used to simplify equations or expressions and check solutions. For example, if a equals b, then any expression containing a can be replaced by an equivalent expression containing b and vice versa. All right, so an example of whenever we use the substitution property all the time is in checking work. Like let's say we have the expression a plus six equals eight. We can solve via algebra. We can subtract six on both sides to have that a is equal to two. And then we can verify our, our answer by substituting in the value two for our original value of a. And whenever we substitute in the two, we'll get two plus six equals eight, and we have just verified our answer. So that's an example of us using the substitution property. Now the transitive property deals with the relationship between elements in a binary relation. It states that if an element is related to a second element, and the second element is in turn related to a third element, then the first element is related to the third element. This property is used to establish relationships between elements or to prove that elements are equal. Okay, so in other words, the transitive property is where if we have A equals B and B equals C, then A equals C. So there is a relationship established between A and B. The relationship is that they are equal. There is a second relationship established between B and C, and their relationship is that they are equal. Therefore, the transitive property implies that A is equal to C. Now this is also, this very definition is also where a lot of confusion between transitive property and the substitution property comes into place. As you might be wondering, well, hey, if A equals B, can we just substitute in A for B here to get that A is equal to C? And the, <laughs> the answer is yes, you can do that. But I just want you to recognize the slight different implication of what you were doing. Here we took a single established equality, A is equal to B, and then you substituted in that value of A into a second equation, B, in order to get C. Whereas the transitive property already establishes the relationship that A is equal to C because of its very definition that if an element is related, if a first element is related to a second and the second element is related to a third, then the first and the third have that same relationship. So let's, let's solve a quick proof. Let's do a quick proof that involves both the substitution property and the transitive property. And let's see if we can highlight the difference just a little bit more. Okay. So let me quickly draw this for us. Let's say we have some A, B, C, D, and E. And let's call this angle one, angle two, and angle three. And let's say 
Here, let me change color. Let's say given, what's our given? Our given is that angle one is complementary is complementary to angle three. Oops. So there's our given. Angle one is complementary to angle three. Here, let me shift this over, make it a little clearer. Angle one is complementary to angle three. And then also what? That BC, let's also say that BC bisects angle DBE. Okay, and we want to prove, what do we want to prove? We want to prove that angle ABC is a right angle. Okay, so given angle one is complementary to angle three and BC bisects angle uh, ABE or bisects angle DBE rather, prove that ABC is a right angle. Okay, let's go ahead and clear this. And let's make our statement and reason table. So we have statement and reason. So the first process in our proof is to, of course, restate our given. And our, our given was that angle one is complementary to angle three and that BC bisects angle DBE. This was our given. Okay. Let me go ahead and move myself to the other corner so we can have a little bit more room. Okay, excellent. Now, what do we want to do? Well, we can of course say that angle two is congruent to angle three by the definition of an angle bisector. And we can say that angle one plus angle three equal 90 degrees by the definition of corresponding angles. And then what can we say? Well, from here, we see that angle two is equivalent to angle three. So we're going to substitute in the angle two for our angle three here, such that angle one plus angle two equals 90 degrees. So we did that with substitution. And here, let me, uh, let me scoot our picture down a little bit so that we can have some more room Okay. Then what can we do? Well, angle one plus angle two is 90 degrees. And we can say that angle one and angle two, angle one plus angle two must equal angle ABC by the angle addition postulate. So I'm just gonna put angle sign addition sign postulate. And now what do we have? 
Well, look at these. We have a, a relationship between this expression and it equals 90 degrees and the same expression equals angle ABC. So we can say that this relationship, that angle ABC is equal to 90 degrees by the transitive property. And then finally, we can say that angle ABC is a right angle. And that's, of course, by the definition of uh, right angles. And I'm just going to draw it like that. So there we have it. There's an example of a proof that uses both the transitive property and the substitution property. As a quick recap, the transitive property deals with uh, a relationship. It, it deals with establishing relationships between different things, whereas the substitution property deals with substituting a value into an expression. So I hope that cleared up some confusion between the two. I know that it can be confusing, but if the, you found this video helpful, please me, leave me a comment down below, subscribe to the channel. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.